What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Reebok Monday. Uh, how is everybody this week? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of goodies here and I've got a whole bunch of other stuff off to the side. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get through everything this week, but I'll try and uh, I'll try and get as much as much as we can. So uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and let's get on into it. Starting with from the Hot Wheels Gym Port Series is the new Subaru WRX STI in a very nice metallic grey colour, gold ten spoke wheels, and a very nice light blue stripe up the side there and a little tiny purple Hot Wheels logo there. How awesome does that look? Very, very nice. Nice headlight and badge detailing on the front there. Very, very cool. And around the back there, unfortunately, we don't get any of the rear details. Uh, but still, a very, very, very cool car. Uh, fingers crossed that I can find another one of these so we can actually open it up. Uh, yeah. What do you reckon? I reckon that looks nice. I really like the uh, colour combination on that. Yeah, very, very cool. Next up, we are opening up this one because I was lucky enough to find two of these. Yes, from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series. It's the 1992 Dodge Viper RT10. How awesome is this? And there's the card art for that. And I love it how it has these really, really cool, almost authentic wheels for the Dodge Viper. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. Let's crack this one out. I love the Dodge Viper, one of my all time favorite cars. Uh, got many different uh, variations of them, I guess you could say. I've got a couple of Matchbox ones from back in the day, a couple of old Hot Wheels ones, uh, a couple of larger scale ones. Uh, yeah, big, big fan of the Dodge Viper. And believe it or not, I even have a Transformers Dodge Viper. So, yeah, very, very awesome nice paint job and those headlights look really really cool a little bit of a dodge uh the viper logo just there you get those three spoke wheels very close to the authentic style of wheel because the original ones on the uh, original dodge viper were three spokes also side exit exhaust uh clear window oh sorry i say light tint to the window but it's almost clear black interior it's got the separate colour for over the uh, the roll bar over the top there. Very cool. And around the back there, yes, we actually get all of the rear brake lights, reverse lights, indicators, license plate, and another little Viper badge just there on the back too. That is awesome. There you go. How cool is this? Yes. And I'm going to be picking up probably a few more of these as well. I'd like to have a couple more. Um, I'm not going to be obviously going crazy taking every one of them I find, uh, but I have two so far, and I'd like to probably at least get another two, I think. Another two or three, and I'll be happy, uh, because that's really awesome. Even as the uh, black vents on the top there too. Yes, very, very happy for that. I've still got my old posters from when I was a little kid of the uh, Dodge Viper. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. All right, next up is the Dodge Charger Drift Car in the Track Pursuit livery, white with the uh, Track Pursuit on the side there. Uh, the Pursuit is in blue over a black stripe, uh, which stretches over the back wheels there. Has the uh, blue window, which gives it that blue light bar on the top there, number 55 on top. Uh, Pursuit on the front has a little bit of blue paint there also has that big push bar on the front, no headlight details unfortunately. Steely wheels with the red trim, giant wang off the back there, and uh, no rear light details or anything like that either. Uh, still pretty cool, I will have to admit. Uh, there's the card art there, it's from the Metro series as well, I don't know if I pointed that out. Uh, but yeah, the casting itself is really, really cool. Uh, first time I've had it in kind of like a truck pursuit livery. Yeah. Don't think I've ever seen uh, Track Pursuit on another vehicle. Let me know if you've seen it actually. Uh, next up is the new colour of the GMC Hummer EV. Yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, these are also available in those larger cars that we got last week and uh, <laughs> I picked up another one so I'll give you a quick look now. Uh, this is the car here, yes we finally found the Porsche. Uh, there's also a GMC Hummer EV 
in this set too. So I'm probably going to pick up that. I'm probably going to eventually pick up all of them. Uh, I'd like to find the Low Lux, to be honest. I haven't seen that one anywhere yet. Uh, but yeah, I might get the Hummer. Uh, we'll look at this one in a second. Uh, but we'll have a quick look at the green version first. Metallic green, grey bead locks on those off-road wheels. Headlight details, the Hummer in that big light bar on the front there. Bash bar and some little tow hooks there. I like how they have the open roof of the uh, Hummer here. Shows how all of these pieces actually are removable. Uh, it's got junk in the trunk. It's got a skateboard in the back. Oh, that's awesome. Love the skateboards in the back. And on the rear, yes, we actually get all of the rear light details and the Hummer EV on the back as well. Yeah, pretty awesome. Black bumper on the rear. Uh, black fender flares and such like that. Yeah, pretty cool. And there's the uh, card art for that. Uh, only a couple of, uh, oh, it's only really the last actual mainline Hot Wheels that we have left. Now uh, this is the new Solero GT color uh, from the Exotic series. This is now in a red and black color combination. And I think that this one looks way, way better uh, than that kind of like a gray blue color that they had last time. Uh, there's the card art for it there, looking absolutely awesome. And there's the front there. So cool, gets those little kind of lens headlights as well. You get the badge on the front there. Try to get a focus on that, yeah. Cockpit there with that dark tinted window. Solero GT on the sides, racing wing, and a really crazy looking diffuser off the rear there. Uh, yeah, pretty nice, and those new lace wheels there, looking pretty cool. Yeah, you'll have to let me know what you guys think of the new color of the Solero GT. I'm quite impressed. I actually quite like that color. Next up, the uh, final Hot Wheels uh, mainline sort of car from the, in the series. <laughs> uh, from the theme series now, we go to the custom Ford Bronco. This is kind of like your off-road dirt basher uh, series. Does this actually have a name? Uh, not entirely sure. Uh, I didn't pick up any of these cars at all except for this one because uh, when I found this one it was reduced to $3.20 uh, but before uh, they were all $4.50. Uh, I wasn't paying that much for them so I just left them there. And there's not really that much in there that I would have picked up to be honest. Like They're, they're cool and all but uh, at $4.50 for their normal price was way too much. Uh, but we did get their Ford Bronco on sale. Very cool. Kind of like a dark metallic purple lavender kind of color. Uh, number 23 on the front there, Ford. Has the headlight details. Has the uh, kind of like a black chrome, dark chrome base to give it the, uh, like a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a real more of a, uh, a Zamac finish, but it's actually just plastic. Uh, get the bash bar, fog lights, all of that there. That looks really cool. Uh, black over fender things there. 23 on the side, Goodyear racing livery. Full roll cage, spare wheel in the back. Uh, no windows, just racing seat and uh, steering wheel and all of that there. And around the back there, no uh, brake light details or anything like that. But yeah, not really expected on a race car. So uh, yeah, very happy for that. Uh, muddy tires with the five spokes. Very, very cool. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, if I'm able to find any of these for a reduced price, I will buy them. Uh, but at $4.50, uh, no, I'm not, I'm, not really, I'm not really that interested in for what's essentially just one of these, just with a, a picture card. <laughs> All right, next up, we actually have something that we don't really have very often on the show. It is a Siku. Yeah, this is the Dodge Challenger. SRT Hellcat Custom. Very, very cool. And the best part about these is we can actually open these up. So we'll just, there we go, pull that out. And we'll be able to look at it. Uh, there's the price there, $10. So, yep. <laughs> uh, for a Siku, that's kind of an average price, to be honest. There's no actual uh, real up marketing on that. Uh, really cool, I do quite like how it's got this giant blower on the front there. Headlight details, SRT badge in the grill. Very, very nice. Uh, no suspension. 
You got the Challenger and the Hellcat logo on the side of that fluoro green. Little badge just there too. The inside is once again that same fluorescent green color. There we go. Yeah, pretty awesome. It's got a giant uh, Dodge Daytona style uh, wing on the back there. That's enormous. And then the rear has the Dodge and the brake lights and it also comes with a tow hook. So that is really, really awesome. So you'll be able to actually have this pulling a trailer if you choose to, if you have those uh, in your collection. I do quite like that, that is awesome. And uh, there is the base there. It's, uh, 527 kilowatt, 320 kilometers an hour. That's cool, pretty cool car. Yeah, uh, these just have regular, oh actually no, these actually do have the rubber tires. Oh, that's awesome. I thought they were just plastic tires for a second, but nope, they're actually rubber tires. So yep, they are the premium deal. All of the accessories, all of that there. And these ones here come with the crazy uh, wing and blower. I do like that, that's awesome. Uh, next up, we found a matchbox. This is the Indiana Jones um, 1936 Auburn Speedster 851. Very, very cool. It's kind of like a butter yellow color. Uh, light yellow kind of colors and it's got like that wood paneling on the side there, but it actually looks like it's gold um, Yeah, gold paneling on the side there silver uh, exhaust side exit exhaust so Things going out the side of the car there A bit of Extra detail on the front there. Does that say anything on the front there? I'm not too sure if that actually says something on the bonnet there uh, old-school wheels with the hubcaps in chrome headlight grille details uh, chrome bumpers look nice as well. Has the leather rag top on the top there. And around the back there, we just get the uh, chrome bumper there too. That's awesome. And yeah, it's on an uh, Indiana Jones cover. So I can only assume that this was from the movie. Uh, it doesn't say anything about it. I'd only assume that it's from the new movie. Uh, if anyone's seen the new movie, should I watch it? Uh, I do like Indiana Jones, but the last one <laughs> it was just kind of rubbish. Uh, I like the three originals. Uh, so let me know if I should watch the new movie. Uh, yeah, pretty cool car, I will have to say. Pop that down there. All right. Uh, as you can see, we have a few more Matchbox there, but you can see those are different moving parts. Uh, we're also able to find a Matchbox Power Grab. Uh, this one here is the Renault Kangoo. Uh, this is the uh, Goodyear kind of like a uh, tire shop delivery service van. So I thought that was pretty awesome. I thought I'd pick it up. I did also find this on a uh, uh, a short card as well. Oh, not a short card, like a regular long card. Uh, but I didn't pick it up because I only really wanted one. Didn't need to pick up a second one. Uh, so we've got the power grab version so we can actually open it up. Very nice blue with the Goodyear tire service. We come to you. Nice wheels as well, same as as the other car with the uh, chrome hubcaps and trim. A little bit of red and white striping on that rear, uh, bottom rocker panel. Black stripe on the side there. Very, very cool. Is that a painted handle too? Yep, painted handle. <laughs> Indicator. Uh, a little bit of a uh, headlight half painted on the front there. Uh, no badge details or anything like that. Big, huge black bumper. Seems to be just a black piece of plastic there. Is that actually see-through? I don't know if that's actually see-through. doesn't look like I can actually... No. That appears to just be either very tinted or a black window with no actual interior. Uh, same livery on the opposite side there. And around the back there, uh, no brake light details or anything like that painted on there uh, because they're painted all on the side. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, to display it on the side there looks really, really nice. Uh, but. I kind of like to display my stuff on an angle, so yeah, it looks a little bit funny with half a headlight. Other than that, very nice. And uh, yeah, 2018 Renault Kangoo. All right, let's get into the moving parts cars. I was only able to find two of these, so these are pretty awesome. We have the Tesla Model 3 in red. Very cool, has the opening doors there, black wheels. Uh, headlight details, little badge on the front there. There's a little bit of metallic in that color. I think there might be a little bit of metallic in that red paint there. Yeah, cool. 
And uh, there's the rear there with all of the rear details as well. Very, very nice. A uh, little card art there. Kind of looks orange there, but red there. Uh, but very, very nice. Very nice. Um, I'm probably going to eventually open up all of my moving parts one day. So, uh, yeah, because I've got quite a few of them. I can never find doubles. Uh, every time my store gets the moving parts, I can only ever find maybe one or two uh, just... Uh, peg warmers hanging on the shelf there, so um, Yeah, I've been waiting for a time when I'm actually being able to get like a second one to open it up for you guys Because uh, I do have a whole wall uh, displayed with these at the moment um, But yeah uh, It's impossible to find seconds a lot of the time, so I may as well just open them up um, This one's really nice. Though, I will have to admit uh, this is the Citroen EC4X I can only assume this is the electric kind of like SUV uh, sedan thingy, whatever they call it, that big huge SUV thing. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Headlight details, a little bit of fog light details too. Five spoke chromies, opening bonnet. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Kind of like a uh, like a, a gunmetal grey colour, metallic. And there's the rear there. Brake light details and all that as well. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, should I just open these all up? Or should I just hold out for a little bit longer and hope to find uh, seconds? Because I've got a whole box of them. <laughs> uh, where is it? It's not currently sitting directly next to me. It was a few days ago, but I cleared it out of the way finally. Um, because I had those ones from the other week that I had to put in there, so I pulled the box out. Um, yeah, so maybe I will just open all of those up in like a future episode. Uh, next up, we found some of the new car culture uh, Canyon Warriors set. Yeah, this is the whole set here. I got the entire set. There we go, Canyon Warriors. Really, really a cool lineup of cars, I will have to say. Um, yeah, pretty nice. You'll have to let me know what you guys think of this set. Uh, first up, we have the Mercedes Benz 500E, two tone silver and grey, five spokes, kind of like the old school AMG wheels. Nice choice right there. Grill details, headlight details, indicators. Uh, a little bit of extra paint around the bumper there uh, to separate the uh, two-tone colors. Very nice, very nice, I will have to say. And uh, there's the rear HW W124. Nice brake light detailing on that as well. Uh, a little Mercedes badge in there. Yeah, very nice, very nice, I will have to say. Uh, there's the card art for that one too. Uh, next up here, probably one of the nicer cars in the whole bunch, I will have to admit, the 89 Porsche 944 Turbo. Beautiful metallic blue colour, great choice of wheels, they're the old school Fuchs uh, Porsche wheels that they use. Uh, this one comes with the extra plastic protector inside there, so it's kind of hard to see the details, but it does have the badge on the front there. And uh, there's a little bit of black paint down on the front there as well, kind of hard to see, there's a lot of reflection there. Very nice, um, yeah. It's got the black wing off the back there, and the rear brake lights are very, very cool. Uh, plastic tab for the license plate. A very, very, very nice looking car, I will have to admit. Uh, and there's the card art for that as well. That is super cool. Love the color on that. Very, very awesome. Uh, next up. We have the 2001 poor, uh, sorry, uh, 2001 BMW M5. Uh, nice wheels as well, once again in that grey, very good choice. Has all the uh, trim detail on the side there, a uh, little indicator there too. Uh, a bit of black detailing around the window and the B pillar. Headlights look awesome. Little badge on the front there, grill details, uh, full grill. Full front details on the front there, little body kit, uh, some extra lights down there too. Wow, this one's really, really clean as well. And there's the rear there for you, all those same details as well. E39. <laughs> wow, that's really, really awesome. I have to admit, this is a great set. What a cool looking set, and there's the card art for that too. I'm not a huge BMW guy. Uh, but that does look very, very nice. 
Next up we have the 1987 Ford Sierra Cosworth and this one here is going to be a, uh, a hot one to find because I'm sure that there's a hell of a lot of fans of this overseas so yeah I'm sure that there's going to be quite a few people over in the UK uh, going crazy trying to find this. I was able to find one. Sorry guys I can't help you there. Uh, maybe if I can find more in the future I can keep them aside for a future giveaway or something like that. Uh, yeah, nice vent details on this as well. It's got the Ford badge on the front there. Little indicators, fog lights, more grill details there. Uh, has the uh, lensed headlights sort of in there. Is that a lensed headlight? It could be a it could be a lensed headlight, or it could be a, just a bit of black plastic from the base or interior. Nice bronze wheels. Have that fade stripe into blue there. Very nice, it's got all that black detailing on the side. A little bit of black trim detail around the window. Door handle and door lock painted up. A uh, bit of black detailing on the rear wing. And there's the rear there as well. I love the old school Sierra wings. Very, very awesome. It's got a little bit of a ducktail spoiler and that giant wing there too. Nice light details. And uh, yeah, very, very cool with the uh, fade stripe there too. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, and there's the card art for that. Just looks stunning. Very, very cool. Definitely a nice looking one. Yep, let's get a good look at that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, pop that one over there. Uh, the final car of the Canyon Warriors set is the Volvo. Yes, nice orange Volvo. Look how slammed that looks. So low. Uh, nice choice of wheels, once again, kind of like a, a light grey colour. The 1973 Volvo 142 GL. Very nice. Has that trim detail down the side there too. Door handle painted up. Uh, badge painted up there. Uh, fuel cap and a little bit of uh, red light there. Painted all detailed very nicely. Very cool old school front end there with the round headlights. Volvo badge. More vents in the bumper there. This is so awesome. Lovely metallic orange paint. A bit of detail around the windscreen there. And there's the rear there. Very, very cool. Uh, the bump bumper bars have been removed off of this to give it that kind of like custom look. And I think it looks incredibly cool. Very, very cool. What does that say? 142. <laughs> uh, nice uh, rear brake light details. Very, very nicely done. Wow, that is awesome. So yeah, keep my fingers crossed to be able to find uh, another set of these. Uh, there are plenty of these, and there are plenty of those two, uh, but these two here, I was only able to find one of each. So uh, hopefully I will be able to find them in the future so we can actually do a review of the entire set because yeah, that's awesome. I'd love to open up this whole set. All right, next up, we will just go straight into the car that we were looking at just before. Yes, we found another one of these. Hot Wheels pullback speeders. The Porsche 911 GT3. Very, very bright orange paint there. Black wheels. Porsche detailing on the side there. Uh, stripes on the roof and all of that. Lensed headlights. Very cool, has all the opening features and all that too. So yeah, really, really awesome. Uh, there's the rest of the cars in that set. Uh, there's the back. And there's the side there. So yeah. Uh, I'm not going to open this one up this week. Uh, we'll just pop that one off to the side. But very cool. Uh, these are currently on sale for I think it was $10. So yeah, I picked that one up. Um, move some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, found some monster trucks. Very, very cool looking cars. Uh, this one here is Bored to be Wild. This is the skate punk monster truck there. As you know, I like my skateboarding. Uh, <laughs> I spent my life on a skateboard and a push bike, so very, very happy to have another skateboard item in the uh, collection. Yeah, very, very cool. Now, I'm not going to open this one up because, well, I don't really open up my monster trucks. I just kind of like them just for the fun factor mainly. And speaking of the fun factor, yeah, we have the Barbie monster truck camper van. How crazy is that? Look at all the Barbie details over the side. They're bright pink and uh, light greeny kind of color like a little teal kind of and color and white there very very cool big giant white wheels with the pink uh, white 
giant pink wheels with the white tires. Uh, no headlight details, unfortunately, but still absolutely awesome. Has all the roof detailing done as well. And the rear has a ladder. Very, very cool. And yeah, Barbie written all over it. So that was just funny. I just kind of picked that one up just because it was hilarious more than anything. Um, still not going to watch the movie. Sorry, guys. Uh, if you thought that I was actually going to give in and watch the uh, the new Barbie movie. Sorry, I'm... I'm <laughs> nah, not for me. Um, yeah, next, next up we have the uh, new monster truck Batman classic TV series Batmobile and yes you all know that I'm a rather large fan of the old school Batmobiles uh, this one here and the Michael Keaton one or the Tim Burton one whichever one you would like to call it uh, which one is it this era here uh, we'll have a quick look at this one too while we're here this is an old Ertl I've had this one ever since I was a little kid so there we go Absolutely awesome. This is like the first Batman movie I ever saw when I was a kid. I think I saw it maybe two or three times. And I, uh, I kind of fell in love with that Batmobile ever since. And uh, yeah, watching the TV series, it was always this TV series and the animated series. The Batman animated series is really, really good. Uh, the Batman, the Brave and the Bold is what it's called. That's my favorite one. Uh, nice detailing on the front there with those red details clear roof chrome exhaust out the back there a little bit of detailing inside there too very very cool and the rear there parachutes in red and extra red detail too so yeah absolutely stoked to have that in the collection there's the card art for that let's move that out of the way uh moving on uh which way will we go uh we'll just go for this one here uh because this is the new mud studs five pack yes we found the new mud studs five pack and um yeah not too bad a pack there's the card art there i've got a bone shaker uh, baja bone shaker blade raider shelby silverado off-road sand blaster and the terrain storm and uh the sand blaster as you know is a uh, ford raptor so uh it's just funny that they still say sand blaster there uh, but if you look here it says ford performance on the side there so uh, and it'll have Ford in the grill there as well. So it's pretty funny how they still do that. But yeah, I'm gonna review this one here, uh, maybe tomorrow or the day after, and get this, the video up to you as soon as possible because that's a pretty cool pack, I will have to admit. I'm really excited to open up this one here. That's awesome, the Baja Bone Shaker. Very, very cool. Uh, last couple of items that I have for you today is the new Nissan team transporter box set pack thingy here and once again we get all of the cars in white very cool all of those details there uh, plus we get the same truck again is that the same truck i'm not entirely sure um a second uh just give me one second i've actually had this one sitting right uh on my uh coffee table in front of my TV for a while so we can actually do this right now and uh, no it is actually a different vehicle this one here is from the Nissan GTR uh, box pack like this one and this one here is the new truck yeah with spare wheels on the top there oh that's awesome that is really really cool so yeah we get the old school cars and we get the uh, the new truck very awesome so yeah uh, picked this one up. These were $40. So uh, very happy for that. And then when I bought this one for $40, <laughs> they went on sale for $30. So uh, $10 for the next one. So yes, I did buy two of these because I wasn't going to pass up a $30 box once. So I just paid $40 for uh, one of them. So get that out of the way there. And uh, the car there. And uh, well, I'm going to save this for next week. We're going to open the last three of these in one single episode, so look forward to that. And I'm going to sign off the video there, and I'm going to wish you all a fantastic week. So thanks for joining, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.